And would you look at that, even more Five Nights at Freddy's blind boxes. You know, it's almost like they pump out a lot of merchandise for this series. I've done a few of these mystery minis FNAF unboxes at this point. That said, the others I've looked at, it was always kind of, I was having to deal with whatever I could find, right? So I got like the Security Breach series, and by the way, I got even more of those boxes. That's going to be a video eventually. Um, I did the Circus World, but what I really wanted to find were these guys, and they never showed up in my area. I looked, but they just never did. It feels like we jumped straight from whatever would have came right before this, which I think was... I mean, it had to be Security Breach, right? I think we jumped straight from Security Breach straight to Circus World. So they never popped up around Savannah, at least nowhere where I was looking. So I went online, got five boxes. Now, this is kind of the exception. This one I actually did find at a flea market. So I bought the box there, and I got, you know, Cupid uh, Baby, which, in all honesty, that was kind of the only one from this set I didn't want. But uh, looking on the back, you can see they're from the Special Delivery AR game. And when you look, there's a lot of really cool designs for these minis. So just taking a look on the back, let me zoom in. You have like VR Freddy, 8-Bit Baby, Mangle. Um, you got so many cool designs that I would really like. Um, just looking at the back, the people who I really want, I definitely want that Mangle. Mangle is my big want. Um, 8-Bit Baby, uh, High, or System Error Bonnie, I would love. Uh, high score Chica. Basically, no duplicates. All of these I would be at least fine with, at least looking at the renders on the back. So with all that said, I've already pulled off the plastic wrap. Let's go ahead and start getting into these. So, opening up our first box here. Doop. Okay. It feels like there's bubble wrap in there. Okay, I'm hoping that means that it's going to be Mangle. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, no. Okay. So I guess the bubble wrap was to keep the ears of VR Freddy all right. Look at VR Freddy. That's really solid. I like that. Um, so, of course, I adore his figure and his plush. I went over that in my Every Freddy I Own video, which might be coming out before or after this um, After this video. It kind of just depends on when I'm able to get these things out. Woman, I'm going to try to fix my lighting. I'm trying to do it on the go. This guy's really dark. He has a hard time showing up on camera. Um, but I do like this. Decent sculpting. And I really like that purple a lot. I loved it on the figure. I like it even more here. So, yeah. This was a good first place to start. So, we'll go on to our second box. I'm hoping the others will show up on camera a bit better. Wow, this one's giving problems. There we go. Okay. There's bubble wrap in this one, too. Oh. Oh, okay. That looks to be... Um, I forget what this guy is called, but it's like Ice Balloon Boy. That's cool. Oh, dude, look at this little gremlin. Um, so, like, this is supposed to be Balloon Boy, but he has kind of like the teeth of Nightmare Balloon Boy. This is game accurate. I've seen this guy. I just don't know his name for the life of me. I'm pretty sure it's like Blizzard Balloon Boy. But I like that. That's good. Um, like some figures I'll point out, like the Circus Worlds, that doesn't that one doesn't necessarily feel like Five Nights, but it is a cool design, unlike some of those <laughs> Circus World uh, characters. So, at least there's that. Doop. Okay, and opening up the bag, oh, okay, I see red, oh yes, it's 8-Bit Baby, that is perfect, this was one of the ones I really wanted, look at how unique this one is, so this is the only 8-Bit Mystery Mini we ever got, and like looking at this, I hope they do a whole wave of the 8-Bits, because you know, there's so many 8-Bit FNAF mini games. I'd love the purple guy. I'd love to see, um, of course, like the main animatronics. I'd like to see 8-Bit Mangle, because I feel like no one ever talks about that 8-Bit design, but it's actually kind of cool. But 8-Bit Baby, really good. I love that. Okay, 
Well, so far, these are three winners. Um, I say that, I might have just jinxed myself. I'm still hoping for that mangle. But right now, like, I'm satisfied, even if I maybe don't get that mangle. So, we're doing pretty well. Okay, and what do we have? Oh, that's VR Freddy. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. I jinxed myself. Well, that's what that's what happens when you deal with blind boxes, right? You never know what you're going to pull. Well, let's see what we might get out of this last box. This is the lightest out of all of them. I was avoiding it because I figured if it's the lightest, I would be very surprised if Mangle was in it. Now I need to go like on eBay and see how much it would cost just to buy Mangle. It's a newer mystery mini, so I hope it won't be much, but at the same time, Mangle doesn't get a lot of stuff. I'll tell you what I saw the other day before I actually do this. I was wanting to get the mystery mini Withered Bonnie, just because Withered Bonnie is one of my favorite animatronics. It goes for like 300 bucks for a mystery mini. And just because I think it's the only Funko thing they've ever done for um, Withered Bonnie. All right, that's enough stalling. What do we have? Wait, no! There is no fucking way. Oh my God. Holy shit, yes. Look at that. <laughs> Let that be a lesson, kids. Um, If you ever really want something, just start complaining. <laughs> start complaining, <laughs> and maybe the universe will throw you a bone <laughs> like it just did me. Ah, oh, dude, look at this. So, at first I looked at this and it's like, well, does Mystery Mini, or does, um, does Mangle have a beard? No, that's like wires hanging down, the bow ties there. You have the second head. The main head looks great. You have, like, all the different limbs here. Like, obviously, this is, like, the most different a Mystery Mini's ever been. Like, it broke the mold. It had to because they couldn't use, like, any of their normal body designs. But they didn't cheap out. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, my God. Okay, let's, um, let's zoom out and look at all the ones we got. These are the four unique Mystery Minis I pulled, and... These were four of the ones I was most interested in. The only ones that, like, I could think of where it's like, maybe I'd want something other than, I'm going to call him Ice Balloon Boy, is I really would have liked System Error Bonnie, just because I adore Toy Bonnie. I would have liked High Score Chica. Maybe Blackheart Bonnie. Um, that's the thing, is I love these four a lot. And it's not so much that I regret getting any of them, so much as I just want all the others, too. Um, if I ever get a chance to buy any more of these boxes i'm definitely gonna do it i'm just curious looking at the the stats here okay bonnie and chica are one out of six so i could probably get them decently off ebay if i ever if i never just come off with these boxes again um i'll throw cupid baby in there too and see what i mean look at how cool these four are and then cupid baby is just so rough so like that was so disappointing for so long this being the only one i had from this very cool wave because it is just Ah, oh, I can't, I can't handle it. Um, of course, VR Freddy and um, Ice Balloon Boy, they're probably the most boring ones here. But this 8-bit baby, and especially, especially this mangle, they are just so friggin' good. I really like them. Um, this is out of my very brief experience with Mystery Minutes, because I've only been collecting these guys for a few years now. Um... I've only, I think the oldest Mr. Mini I have is from the, um, the Pizzeria Simulator wave. So, I, I don't have anywhere near a full collection. I never will, because some of those figures go for outrageous amounts of money. But even still, these are just spectacular. And I really do want to collect the rest of this wave. So, hopefully I'll find these boxes again somewhere. There's a convention going on in Savannah, literally tomorrow as of me recording this, so maybe I'll find something there. But otherwise, um, I full heartedly recommend this set if you're able to get your hands on them, because they're very cool minifigures, all of them. And yeah, it it's the perfect ending. I got to end on the one I wanted the most after I convinced myself there's no way I was going to get it. Man, sometimes life is pretty cool.